Hi there, I'm Jess from Polish and Pout, and today we're going to be doing a look in honor of Day of the Dead. Sugar skulls are definitely an integral part of celebrating Dia de los Muertos. Today, instead of painting the traditional piece of handcrafted sugar, we're actually going to do the look on a model. So stay tuned if you want to see how to get this look. First, let's begin by applying the white base. This is a foundation shade adjuster by Face Atelier. It's in the shade Zero Negative. We don't need to blend it down the neck because we are going to cut everything off just on the edge of the face. Avoid the eye sockets because we are going to be placing darker colors there later. Avoid the edges or sharpen it up with a Q-tip or a face wipe. Now we're going to set everything with the Neutral Set by Ben Nye. Use more of a dabbing motion than a buffing motion. Now using a black eyeliner, go ahead and sketch out some of the key areas like the eye sockets. Draw the circle over the edge of the brows and try to make them symmetrical as possible. Now let's take a break from the face shape and work on the eyes. Start by putting an eye base all over the lid. Also be sure to use the base on the underneath as well since we're going to be putting shadow all around the eye. Now for the eyeshadow we're going to be using blues. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Smoky Palette because it has a variation of blue colors. We're going to go ahead and start with a paler, more silvery shade and we're just going to pat that all over the lid. Blend the silvery blue shade all around the eye, everywhere inside of the circle. Now go in with a shimmering white. We're going to work this into the inner socket to create a gradient effect. Taking a brighter blue, work that onto the outer third. Since the eye is extending past her natural lid, it's okay to extend the shadow past that as well. Take a medium toned blue and a little bit of lilac and dab that right into the center. Taking a small smudger brush and some black eyeshadow, now we're going to go back around the outer edge of the socket to smudge out a little bit of that black shade which will darken the eye socket and give us again that gradient effect. Now for a bold graphic eyeliner. Using a gel and an angled brush, sketch out the wing. With the basic line sketched out, now you just need to do your wing. Take your liner, hold it out on the outer edge, and drag it inwards for a nice, sharp effect. Drag the edge out even further for a more graphic look. Now I'm going in with Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. We're going to go ahead and coat her lashes with mascara. Look down. For lashes, make sure you measure them so that they're the appropriate length. Apply a little glue to the ends and let them dry part way. Having the glue partially dry is the trick to applying a good lash. Secure it in the middle first, then push down the outer edge and push down the inner edge. Having the glue be partially dry makes it a little more sticky so that the lash is able to adhere better. Using that same gel eyeliner, go ahead and line underneath the eye. Now that the eyeshadow is done, we want to include those classic looking scalloped edges around the eye. So I'm taking a rounded edge brush and a little bit of black eyeliner, the same one we used before, and I'm brushing it along the edge. The brush is rounded on the end and so it's going to naturally create those scallops without having to really try too hard. Once again, using the same gel eyeliner, go ahead and sketch out the nose. Make a teardrop shape on each side and fill it in. Now connect the two teardrops by drawing a point. And then we're going to go ahead to continue to fill in the nose. Using that same angled brush now, I'm just going to add a few little details to sharpen up the edges. We want to make sure that the point on top is really nice and sharp on both sides. Using the same blue eyeshadows we used before, we're now going to do a little bit of shading to add interest. 
Go ahead and drag the blue along the edge of all of the black that you did along the nose, along the outer edge of the face as well, and shade also right underneath the cheekbone. We're essentially contouring with blue eyeshadow. Shade along the perimeter of the face as well. I'm also going to work that blue shadow right onto her lips. Using the same angled liner and the gel liner that we've been using this whole time, go ahead and give yourself a little bit of a filling right in the center of the mouth. Draw an upwards line from the edge of the mouth on both sides. For the teeth, create simple hash marks. Make sure you get that one line down the very center. Taking a smudger brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow, you can now go ahead and soften what you did with the teeth. Using the brush we use for the scalloped edges, use that edge and any remaining product to round out the square sections of the teeth. We're providing just a little bit of shading, kind of in like a scallop shape again, to give the impression of the teeth. To create those signature sugar skull embellishments, we're gonna go ahead and use just a standard black eyeliner pencil. The eyeliner is gonna be much more forgiving than the gel will be. That way we can blend things out and adjust as needed. I'm gonna go ahead and create a nice heart right in the center of the forehead. We're gonna use some purple from the same palette we were in earlier. And we're just gonna fill the heart in on the outer edge mostly. Leave the center a little bit open with that white so that we get that fun ombre effect. Go in with a liquid liner now and just sharpen up the edge of that heart. Using the same liquid liner, give yourself a few dots and dashes in a few fun places. I'm gonna go down the center of the nose and I'm gonna go right above the eyebrow as well. Let's go ahead and draw a line right underneath the cheek just to sharpen up that contour. And then we can draw another line right above there. Basically add embellishment wherever you see fit. Go back over some of the lines you've drawn and add a few curls. Go back to your scalloped edged brush and your black liner and do a little bit of some chin work. We're just gonna create like a little bit of like a three pronged flower right here at the bottom. Let the shape of the brush do the work for you and then just go back in and blend it out as needed. Once you feel you've added enough embellishments, you are complete.